Who's in charge? Boy, there's a lot of times you can look at life and you can ask that question, huh? Whether you find yourself in the middle of a crazy political season wondering who's going to win the elections and who's going to take over and what difference it's going to make, how it's going to affect your life. Maybe you're dealing with something in your life and it just seems like there's black clouds gathering all around you and you wonder who's the one who's sitting behind it all. Who's the one who stands behind those clouds, controls all things? Who's in charge? In the Gospel of Matthew, in our Bible study that we're going to have a chance to begin, we're going to see the one who stands behind it all. The one who's gentle, a baby in a manger. The one who's zealous for the Lord of God, driving people out of the temple. We'll see the one who takes time for the sick and the demon-possessed. And also the one who takes the time to rebuke the high and mighty. We're going to see the one who's on the cross suffers, dies, rises. That's who it is. The one who's in charge, the one who's behind it all. It's not some nameless face. It's not some big bad person that you and I don't know. It's a God who lives for us, who died for us, who rose for us, who was born in a manger. Jesus. And he seeks to rule. To rule all things for your good, to rule in your hearts. The Gospel of Matthew tells that story. The story of the king. I hope you'll join us for our Bible studies. We have them on Thursdays at 10 a.m., Saturdays after a worship service at 6.45 p.m., and on Sundays after a worship service at 10.15 a.m.